Kim Walker, a cancer exercise trainer and exercise physiologist at the Huntsman Cancer Institute. I'm happy to take you through a chair stretching series that can be done at a desk or with any chair, wherever you're at. To review, stretching helps improve the range of motion in our joints and it's important that we do regularly two to three days per week. Hold each stretch 10 to 30 seconds, two to four times for each stretch. Now, let's begin using our chair. Grab one and go ahead and sit and join me. We'll start with the upper body. We'll start with the neck, bringing the chin down to the chest. Right here, you can add the hands for a deeper stretch through the neck. Good, that's always optional. Now we're gonna draw diagonally the nose down between the shoulder and chest, stretching laterally in the neck. Working those breasts in through the nose and then back out through the mouth. We'll stretch to the other side, drawing down, stretching through the side of the neck. up to the center. We'll look to the side. Exhale out. Back to the center, to the other side. Exhale out. Come back to the center. Excellent. We'll drop an ear over to the shoulder. Here you can apply a little pressure with the hand gently. We want tension, but not pain. Slight discomfort when we're stretching. Switching sides, opposite ear to the shoulder. And back up. Anytime we're stretching the neck, we want to avoid full neck circles. We can drop the ear down to the Shoulder, come back up, chin down to the chest, back up, ear to the shoulder, back up. You never want to go back with the neck, putting any pressure on the cervical vertebrae, protecting those vertebrae. Nice. We'll move to the chest, opening up here, drawing the shoulder blades together. If this causes any discomfort in the shoulder, turn the thumbs down, pulling back. Continuing those breaths, we're going to put the hands behind the head for an option. If you like the arms extended, keep them there. Excellent. Let those arms come down. We'll stretch the upper back, linking the fingers together. I'm going to kind of curve my back into my chair here, drop my chin down to my chest, opening up those shoulder blades. Turn to the side here, you can see me here. So keeping good lower back posture and just curving out my upper back. Good, relax those arms back down. We'll go onto the shoulders, bringing an arm across the body. You're gonna grab right between your shoulder and your elbow and pull in and across. It feels better to bend that elbow a little bit, that's fine. Working the breaths as we hold this stretch. You can sit back into your chair if that's more comfortable. We want you comfortable and working at a level that's right for you. Other side. Inhale in and exhale out. Listening to the signals of, those, of your body, if you need to bring the arm down a little bit, or if you need to turn that thumb in, if that feels better on the shoulder. Good, opening up through the chest, we'll drop the arms down, we're gonna stretch the bicep. Turning the palm forward, dropping the fingers down to the floor, stretching out. Notice how I'll turn to the side here a little bit. I've got a slight bend in my elbow, that's optional. You can go ahead and come all the way, but we don't wanna hyperextend, protecting the joint. Excellent, we'll get both sides. 
Feels good. We're also getting into the forearm a little bit here. Here we'll take the fingers down, pull back. Keeping the arm in the same position, we'll just bring the fingers the opposite direction. That feels so good. Keep those breaths going. Other side, opposite hand, reaching down, pulling back. Fingers the opposite direction, finishing out our forearm stretching. Excellent. Stretching out the lats here in the chair. We'll reach up and over gently. Grab at the wrist and pull. Notice my ribs kind of work reaching out to the sides, deepening the stretch. Feels so good. Inhale in and exhale through the mouth. Switching sides, grabbing at the opposite wrist. Pulling over, again, opening through those ribs. You don't have to do too much of a bend here through the spine laterally. You can keep it a little more neutral. Working at a level that's good for you. Come on down, relax those arms. Awesome. That completes our upper body. Now we're gonna be moving on to the core and hips. Again, everything can be done in a chair right here at your desk, wherever you are. We'll start by stretching out the back. Hands are gonna come forward on the quads. You're just gonna curve through the back, all the way up, stretching out the back. Reaching up, inhale in. Stretching through those abs, all the way through the front of the torso. Exhale. We'll do an oblique stretch here, which is very similar to what we just did for the lats. You kind of get them both at the same time here. We'll reach up and over. This is also going to get the side of the abdominal wall. And we've already taught you this one. We won't spend as much time in it. Good, not too much of a bend at that spine. Back up, bring those arms down. We'll stretch out the inner thighs. For this, I'm gonna angle slightly. You're gonna open up here and just stretch out inside those thighs. Very good. Leaning forward gently, breathing. Excellent. Now our outer thighs. <clears throat> We're going to take the leg up and come over, slightly crossing over, pulling in, stretching through the hip. Feels so good into the gluteus medius, the hip abductors like we talked about. Good, other side, opposite leg comes up and over. If it feels more comfortable to sit back into your chair, please do. Try to relax your body as you're stretching. Relaxing the muscles will help to deepen those stretches. Good, awesome. We'll do a gentle lower back stretch, turning by just bringing one knee up and in to the chest. This is a good spinal neutral option without any twisting or rotating at the spine. Now the opposite side. Good, you can stay here or if you'd like to try a little bit of a spinal twist, it's no longer neutral. You can rotate using the back of the chair, one hand here on the inside of the thigh, rotating through, looking over that shoulder. Breathing in. Other side, rotating through. Excellent. Back to the center here, we're going to stretch our piriformis, putting the ankle up on the knee. We'll gently hinge forward at the hips. Opening through, you can feel this in through the hip here opening through the hip. If it feels more comfortable for you to stay back, that's okay. The more you hinge forward, the deeper the stretch gets. It also may feel good to straighten that leg out a little bit. If you're having a hard time getting the leg up on the knee, right here will be a good place to start. Excellent, let's switch sides. Notice with a mostly extended leg, it's not quite as deep as I 
Bring that foot up, that's going to deepen the stretch. And again, hinging forward will also deepen that stretch. Work the breaths. Work whatever level you're at. If you're feeling a gentle pull and tension, that's what we want. Excellent. One of my favorite stretches is for the hip flexors. It's very important to help keep our walking upright and to maintain good posture. So to stretch the hip flexors using a chair, I'll have you rotate to the side. We'll drop one leg down as if we were doing a lunge, but we've got all of this weight supported on the chair. I've brought my toe back and I'm going to tilt the pelvis under here, okay? So if you need to stay forward, if you're feeling any tension in the back, that's okay. But the more we can lift ourselves up, the more we're going to open up through that hip. Reaching up to the sky. Exhale, switch sides. Good. The further back we can get the leg, the better. We also want to bend the knee, tilt the pelvis under here for this stretch. Reaching up. Got a lot of support with the chair underneath my leg. It's holding my weight. Excellent. Bring the arm down. Come back to the front of the room. Good. We just completed the core and hip stretching. We're going to move on to the lower body. This can also be done in the chair, wherever you are. We'll start with the hamstrings. This stretch is great to include after a walk when you find a park bench. You just sit down, extend the leg forward. You're gonna reach forward here. I'm going to rest my elbow just above my knee to support my back as I hinge forward. As I reach forward towards my foot, it doesn't matter where I'm at. I might be getting somewhere on my shin. I might be able to get down towards my socks, maybe to my laces. My laces, I can grab onto those or down to my toe. I'm keeping a nice flat back, my neck aligned with my spine as I reach forward. Feeling this stretch through the hamstrings and a little into the calves. The side angle here as I switch sides. my elbow down onto just above my knee if I'm able to get there or here if not. Reaching down and forward. Again, keeping a flat back, reaching to wherever you can. Feeling the stretch through the hamstrings and a little into the calf. Roll up one vertebrae at a time, stacking the spine. Awesome. We're going to stretch the quadriceps in a seated position. This can be a little bit more challenging, but we'll use that same position where we were here. We're holding most of our hips here. We'll grab here and drop the leg down. I'm using the back of the chair to help hold me. It's important that I've got a good grip on the chair here. Okay, again, it may be a stretch for you right here, just putting the foot on the ground. And the other side. If you can grab here at the ankle, do so. Dropping the knee down, keeping good posture, shoulders stacked, chest lifted, core engaged. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth, dropping the leg. Excellent. Awesome. We have finished our full body stretching series in the chair. Thank you so much for your time. Thanks for joining me. I hope you stretch regularly. Take the time to put in this self-care. It's been a pleasure working with you today. Enjoy your day.